local demonstrators took to the streets tonight to call for national recognition of same-sex marriage just as the Supreme Court weighs the issue. Good evening. Supreme Court justices have begun discussion on whether the Constitution gives same-sex couples the right to marry. Today, Chief Justice John Roberts said the definition of marriage has always been between one man and one woman until a dozen years ago. You're not seeking to join the institution. You're seeking to change what the institution is. Justice Anthony Kennedy, the likely swing vote in the case, agreed, saying the definition has been around for millennia. But he later pressed the states on how exactly allowing same-sex couples to marry would harm traditional marriage. How the justices will also decide whether same-sex marriages performed in states where they're already legal, like here in Nevada, must be recognized in states where they're not. The locals rallied tonight in support of legalizing it not just here, but throughout the entire United States. Amanda Ketchledge is live in the newsroom with what a decision could mean for our state. Amanda? Well, Ari, it could mean some big changes for Nevada. Advocates for this cause say that their efforts aren't over until it's finally accepted in all of the states. Same-sex couples like Karen Goody and her partner Karen Vibey have been in this fight since the beginning. Back in October, gay marriage was legalized in Nevada, and today they are married. We're celebrating the, the fact that they took it on today, and, you know, we can um, look forward to the possibility of every couple having that choice to get married and to be as happy as we are. But the Karens say the battle isn't over just because it's legal in Nevada. We still have 13 states that don't recognize our marriage. And so there's always that possibility that not only can states flip-flop in the positive, they can also go back to the negative. And to find out what exactly the Supreme Court's decision could mean for Nevada, we took it to an expert. If the Supreme Court issues a ruling saying, no, we're not going to hold that there is a right under the Constitution to enter into a same-sex marriage, and we're instead going to hold that each state gets to make up its own mind, then the law as it stands in Nevada could very The court does change to leave it up to the state. Proponents of same-sex marriage could for a ban in Nevada. A ban passes. What happens to those folks who lost married at a and didn't exist? Will the marriages be in or there's some that will happen?